I just happened to check the income the other day and saw it was at $508,000. And I was just thinking, how the hell did two kids, I was 19, my brother was 24 when we started, how the hell did two kids go from literally not ever having sold anything on Amazon before to, to this, creating a brand, a series of products, and making over half a million dollars from it? I want to tell you how I have earned over $500,000 selling the most simple, weird products on Amazon FBA. And I'm actually going to reveal those products to you in this video. I'm only 25 years old and this is my second proper business that I've done. My first business was a print on demand business and this is my second business. And I've learned so much from this Amazon FBA business. I've learned about so many different aspects and I want to tell you this incredible story. This is not going to be a very long video. I just want to tell you this incredible story of how I have now earned over 500,000, half a million dollars. It's just, oh my gosh, it's really, really crazy to think. I wanna tell you everything that I did from what product I did, what marketing I did, what niche I was in, the category I was in, the suppliers that I found. I want to give you every single piece of information from my business, from my successful products, because I want you to truly see, I wanna be as transparent as possible so you can like really, really see what's involved with this kind of business and how I was actually able to get to this incredible sum. You can still do this, I still do this every single day. So I, this is the thing, this is the main thing. I haven't just reached this milestone and stopped and that's it. I'm still selling my products every single day. And the main point in this video is maybe just to motivate you or just to give you a really cool story. But I just wanna say you can 100% do this. So before we get started with this video, I'm gonna zoom in for maximum effect here. Before we get started with this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Shimmy Morris. I talk a lot about print on demand, I talk a lot about Amazon, and I mainly talk about making money online. And if you like any of my videos, or you think you like any of my videos, just hit that subscribe button, join this, this whatever it's called, this community of everyone who likes and comments and watches. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into this video. I'm, just, oh, I'm buzzing to tell you this story. So it all started when I was 19 years old. I was living at home with my parents. My brother Josh was also living at home with my parents. And I came home one day and just found him sitting on the bed, his bed, not my bed, that would be weird, sitting on his bed, just watching this webinar given by, I forgot the, I forgot the name of the people, Matt and Jason, I think it was. And it was all about this opportunity of Amazon FBA. And he said to me, this sounds really, really cool. Do, do you want to like look into this and at the time I was like no I'm just not not interested sorry like I, I was doing print on demand at the time and it, I kind of got into this Amazon business the same way I got into print on demand but I, I wanted something new but I just I didn't know if it was to be Amazon anyway so skip ahead a bit he finishes watching it he tell, the next day he tells me you shimmy you have got to watch this I don't care what you say you're gonna sit and you're gonna watch this it's two hours long it's gonna change your life I was like all right fine I sat and I watched this webinar and he was right. It genuinely, genuinely changed my life. It changed our life. We ended up buying the, uh, what was it called? The Amazing Selling Machine course, which is still available by the way, but I, I don't recommend it. And I have videos on why I don't recommend it. But we ended up buying Amazing Selling Machine for $3,998. Look, this, this, this is right here, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we spent that amount of money on it. And that's the main reason why we did the business together because we didn't want to fork out all the money ourselves. The thing that really, really worked for us, and I genuinely think this, this made a massive difference is that we worked on this business together. We bought it together. We sat and we did the training together. We literally sat in the same room and found products together. We went through the training. We did everything together for this business and I actually think that really, really helped us succeed because we motivated each other. So it made a massive difference and if you have the opportunity to work with someone else on this business, I would always say go for it just because having two brains working things out, deciding whether or not to go into something is so much better than one because you might love a product and then someone else might see that product and think actually it's got all these flaws which you're not seeing because you've just fallen in love with it and then they'll tell you the flaws and 
you kind of just work off each other. And that's exactly what we did and it really, really worked for us. As we went through this course, it was a mammoth course. As we went through it, we took action. So we, when we watched the first week, we took action on it. When we watched the second week, we took action on it. And we ended up building a huge list of potential products. We would, we would set ourselves tasks. I would have to find 10 and he would have to find 10 every single day. And by the end of the product research phase of the course, we were left with quite a few different products that we could actually go and choose so we then had to sit down together and whittle down those products and really pick the best product and to this day really funny i say that i found the product that we are still selling that has made us all of this money and he says he found it and we can't prove it we don't know who actually found it because it was like five years ago but i genuinely think i was the one that found it but it's just funny because i like bugging him about it and he likes bugging me about it but doesn't make any difference really now, unfortunately, the reason why I don't recommend Amazing Selling Machine, and I'll just dial it down into pretty much two sentences, is it lacked a lot of information, and we found that we had to figure a lot of things out on our own, and that cost us a lot of money. We nearly got scammed out of literally tens of thousands of dollars, and I'll, I'll get to that, but basically, it was a great course, and, and I can't bash it too much because it's the reason we're selling on Amazon today, but, would I recommend it now when there are so many other courses out there? Like, I'm not even talking about my course, I'm just talking about everyone else's course. There are so many more affordable courses out there. I wouldn't necessarily recommend Amazing Selling Machine. I just, I just wouldn't. Okay, moving on. Let me start telling you exactly how we came about finding our product. And this is where I'm gonna tell you what the product actually is, so stay tuned. We went to Google and very simply we searched Amazon USA best sellers. Okay, very, very simple like that. We went on to the best sellers page and we landed on this kind of page where we were able to see all the best sellers for Amazon FBA. And what we basically did is we went to certain categories that we knew would work based on training, based on watching videos. And we knew sports and outdoors was a good category. Home improvements was a good category. Pets was a good category. So we scrolled all the way down. We went to sports and outdoors because we're both very sporty. I absolutely love sports, every aspect of it. And selling a product in the sports niche, to me, seemed like quite a good goal. When someone asked me later down the line, what product do you sell? What niche are you in? I'm, I'm actually proud to say I'm in the sports and outdoors category because I absolutely love sports and I love the great outdoors. So what we did is we went through and we just scrolled. We scrolled and we scrolled and we scrolled. And what we saw is we would see products our product obviously isn't going to be here like our category of product isn't going to be here anymore because this was five years ago so five years ago the product that was super popular might not be popular to this day we still get sales because we have built it up all the way so that it gets sales every single day but you know what i'm just going to quickly tell you our product our first product was a knee brace okay very very simple knee brace nothing confusing nothing you know crazy and we found it literally by going through the best sellers like this, all right? So just as an example, this is a, a sweat premium waist trimmer. Okay, so what we would do is we would click this product, we would have a look at it, and we would try and find the keyword from this product. So the keyword is a waist trimmer, okay? So what we would then do is we would take the waist trimmer. I don't wanna be too technical in this video. I just wanna, this is all part of the story. We would take the waist trimmer, we would search it, and we would then look over. So you can see all the different waist trimmers here. We would then look at all these different products and decide based on various factors, based on competition, demand, keywords, reviews, all of these kind of things, decide whether or not it was a suitable potential product. And then it would go onto our list. So this was our first product, a knee brace. And the funniest part of it is, whenever we told anyone, whenever like our family or friends asked us, oh, what are you selling, what's your brand? We were just like, we're selling knee braces. And they were just like, what? That is the most random thing. How did you come about selling knee braces? And honestly, we were just like, look, we're not gonna explain to you all the intricacies of how to find a product on Amazon, but just believe us when we tell you, this was a great product, and it was. It ticked every demand box, it ticked every competition box, it ticked every keyword box, and oh, 
it was an incredible, incredible product. And it is the product that we sell to this day. It's one of the products that we sell to this day. It's still our biggest selling product. And this is five years down the line. That's That just goes to show how, how the longevity of this business really, like how good it really is, how long it can last. There's no reason why it should last a month or two months or a year. It's been five years and we're still selling the, a crap load of this product. Now, side note, anyone thinking, Oh, I now know their product. I'm going to go sell their product. It's going to be such a big hit. Look, you can if you want, but I'm going to be honest with you. We're five years down the line now, so we don't actually mind if you sell this product. But if you're starting out in this niche, it might not be that good. The reason it's good for us is because we started in it five years ago and we've built ourselves up. We've built a brand and we've built our product listing up over five years. Now, I'm not saying there's not room for new people in Amazon and selling products, but I'm saying selling this particular product might not make you money because it's quite a saturated, this product is quite a saturated niche at the moment. Luckily, we got in five years ago and we're not really worried about the, sat the oversaturation because we are the saturation, we're the ones at the top. So we're absolutely fine in that department. But there are still plenty of other products. Don't be discouraged thinking, oh, it's 2020, there are no products left because that couldn't be further from the truth. I find product every single day to sell on Amazon. So I know first hand there are still tons of products available so let's just get back to the story because i know you, you just you just want me to get back to the story let's stop being so technical shimmy sorry so back to the story once we had decided we sat down we decided on knee brace being our first product we then thought all right what's the next step and the next step was finding a supplier which was just as like the same process as finding a, a product we went to alibaba.com and you know what i'm gonna do that for you i'm gonna have that recording for you. We went to alibaba.com very, very simply. And then we searched for knee brace. And we did a few things. We ticked a few boxes. We wanted to make sure that we weren't getting scammed or anything like that. So we made sure to tick trade assurance. We made sure to tick a verified supplier. Okay. And once we had done that, we scrolled through and we just mass messaged everyone we call it in our course the shotgun approach where we have the same message we just change one or two of the pieces of information and we just mass send it out so you can see scrolling down you've got tons and tons of knee braces they're super cheap one dollar seventeen twenty eight dollars well one dollar fifty so this was our process all in all we ended up going through three suppliers for knee brace our first supplier was, was okay but the quality of the product just wasn't good enough for us our second supplier was was also like the quality was far far better but they were involved in in a potential ten thousand dollar scam where basically we had to make an order and we were talking to them on skype and we found out afterwards just before we made the order that the person we were we were communicating with on skype had actually been fired and they were trying to get us to send them the ten thousand dollar the $10,000 for the, the new order directly to their personal Skype. And the company was like, oh no, sorry, we forgot to tell you they got fired. And from that, we were like, I'm sorry, if you if you can't tell us that one of your employees who who is our handler, who we deal with, was fired and now she tried to steal from us, we were like, we've got to move on. So we moved on to an, our third and final supplier that we've been with. We have an amazing relationship with them. We're able to ask things, like talk things through, talk about designing things. It's just a really, really good relationship. And we've been with them now for, I think, three years. It's been a long time. And it's, it's a, like I said, a really, really good relationship. So that was the process of finding a supplier for this first product. Now, that was all, that was a story about how we found our first product. Since then, we've created about 20 more products on our Amazon store, and we've very, very much gone with the 80-20 rule. We've removed 16 of those products in the last like year or so, and we now sell four. And you're probably thinking, you sell four products, that's hardly impressive. And I have to tell you, it's not about the quantity of products you're selling. It's about the quality of your listings and the quality of income those products are bringing you. So if we have 20 products making us 10 grand or we have four products making us 10 grand, we would much rather go with the four products because it's a lot less work upkeeping four products as it is to upkeeping 20. So we did the 80-20 rule. We took away 16 of the products that weren't making us very much money or not enough money to make it worth the worthwhile and we stuck with our four products which have been you know the mouth guard the knee brace the 
the sports sock and the sliders those have been our four main main products and they have been brilliant but on top of that we've sold other things we've sold like wallets we've sold tons of socks like hiking socks and all these different variations we've sold dog stuff we sold a whole bunch of random things but like i said we've stuck with our guns with our four products which happen to also all fall under the same brand which is brilliant for us because it's allowed us over the last five years to build up a really really cool brand i just happened to check the income the other day and saw it was at five hundred and eight thousand dollars and i was just thinking how the hell did two kids i was 19 my brother was 24 when we started how the hell did two kids go from literally not ever having sold anything on amazon before to to this creating a brand a series of products and making over half a million dollars from it click click the like button if you think it's a bit of a crazy story because i genuinely think it's a crazy story and uh, it honestly this video it, I'm buzzing just, just making this video and telling you about the story because I want you, if however old you are, if you're 60 or if you're 16, to to have this same experience where you start this business and in a couple of years you look back and you're just thinking, how the hell did I create this business and now I'm here? It's just an amazing, amazing feeling and I just want you to experience that same feeling. And if you think about it, we started with literally the most random product. Like you would never think to sell this product, right? We knee brace, the most random product, but it is the product that launched us, it kickstarted us, and it just it just took us. It, it, it just launched us big time and like I said we still sell that product every single day five years later now I think what really stood out for us and what really made this story possible like this success story possible is that I came from a photography background and, and you're probably thinking how is that relevant and I'm going to tell you I came from a photography background and Josh came from a copywriting background and I'm sure as you know when it comes to selling something online you need to be good at selling okay so how do you sell something well you sell it through photos and you sell it through the description and the title and the bullets right now i was in charge of the photo side of it and because i had come from a photography background and a, pro a product photography background as well i knew exactly how to take the most sexy brilliant good looking photos if i may say so myself just bigging myself up a bit but i knew how to take the the best photos possible in order to have the highest conversions and josh being an incredible copywriter like really really good he, he he's undervalued like he doesn't realize how good he is as a copywriter he was able to make an a truly incredibly convincing description bullets titles something really desirable and i think the two combined which is by the way what we all teach we, we teach in our course down to the last detail but i think the two combined really is what made a difference for us because we were able to see conversion rates on our listing of over 75 percent which apparently is unheard of based on the research that i've done everyone's like that's insane but we were able to see 76.6 <clears throat> percent conversion rates which that's the exact number on our listings which massively affects how well you do on amazon because amazon the biggest part of the algorithm is how well your your page converts if your page converts well they'll want you higher up the listing because you're clearly getting more sales and all you need is more traffic so you'll go up the listing you'll get more traffic and you'll get more sales in turn making amazon more money and obviously we make more money as well because it's our product so i do think genuinely that those two skills really helped help this whole experience for us now if you've come this far in the video i ask one thing of you i ask if you enjoyed it please share it with a friend who maybe is looking to start a business maybe needs a bit of motivation to get started and they just need to see someone else who has started and who was successful doing it because at the end of the day I just want as many people to see this and be able to go and start the Amazon businesses and down the line, maybe even come back to me and be like, thank you so much for this video. We we went and we started a business and we've now got this to show for it. And that would be the most amazing thing to happen. And like, if you're at all interested in learning more about Amazon FBA, leave a comment down below. If you, if you feel like you want to take a course, like we took a course and we spent nearly $4,000 on one. If you feel like you want to take a course, look, you can take ours, you can take someone else's, 
it's up to you. Obviously, I'm biased about ours, but I do recommend taking some form of training, whether it's ours or someone else's, just because I do think it will help you. It helped us. It gave us structure and it gave us a, a path to follow. Um, so I don't want to like constantly be throwing my course down your throats because then it, this video wouldn't feel so genuine. But what I will say is take any course take someone else's if you if you like my face if you like my videos if you like my voice then take ours like but just pick a mentor you think is going to truly help you and take their course and i mean that's it for this that's it for this video um i i hope you enjoyed it i i, I really love telling you this story it's i have never really told this story and 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 actually given away what our product is before and it feels good i i, I really enjoyed you know bring you along this journey kind of thing and now you can truly see the power of amazon and why it's our main business and why i actually replace print on demand with amazon fba for these main reasons it's just it's so scalable it's so much fun and you know we've been able to turn it into this madhouse of a business so yeah guys get started today because all the excuses of i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow just just start today and it will be worth it, I promise you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday at 5 p.m. for that video, because I bring up videos Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 5 p.m. GMT, or, or actually it's the summer, so BST, which is summertime, British summertime, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me drone on all of this time. I really appreciate it.